Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After entering inventory parts into the item list, you need to order the items to keep your inventory parts stocked. While QuickBooks doesn't require that you use purchase orders to do this, it is recommended. If you use purchase orders, you can see what items you have ordered and when they are due to be received. You will also be able to compare the items that you receive against items listed in a purchase order. If you don't order items in advance, or just don't want to use purchase orders, you can buy inventory directly by using the Items tab within the Write Checks window or Enter Credit Card Charges window to select inventory items you purchase from vendors. To create a purchase order, select Vendors from the menu bar and then choose the Create Purchase Orders command. Select a vendor from the Vendor drop-down. That will then fill in the vendor's data within the form. Next, enter the date of the purchase order into the date field. The next available purchase order number will appear automatically within the PO number field. If you have multiple shipping addresses, be sure to use the Ship To drop-down field to select the name of the shipping address to which you want the items shipped. If you are creating a purchase order that will be drop-shipped to a customer address, select the name of the customer from the Drop Ship To drop-down. Their address information will then appear within the Ship To field. To select a custom purchase order template you have created, you can select the name of the template from the template drop-down. Click into the first available row under the item column in the line item area and select the name of the inventory part item to order. The information for the inventory part will appear within the description and rate columns in the form, but you can change either if needed. Then enter the number of items to order by typing it into the quantity field. The amount shown will be calculated by multiplying the quantity and the rate fields. Repeat this process until you have entered all of the items you need to order within the purchase order. To enter a message to the vendor, type the message into the vendor message field. You can enter a memo into the memo field if needed. After you've completed the purchase order, you can then click the Save and Close button to save the purchase order and close the window, or you can click the Save and New button to save the purchase order and open another new purchase order form. Now after you initially create a purchase order, QuickBooks creates an account called Purchase Orders within the Chart of Accounts. This is a non-posting account type created by QuickBooks that does not appear within your balance sheet or income statement. The Purchase Orders account is simply used to produce a quick report showing the current purchase orders so that you'll always know what has been ordered. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.